Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today I just wanted to share with you my new project ride. It is a 2006 Mustang GT. I picked this up about an hour ago, and I am pretty hyped up about it. I've been wanting to pick something up that I could modify, and so I figured uh, what better than a muscle car. Again, it's the 06, so it has the 4.6 liter V8, and it is incredibly clean. Take a look at this. Not only is it super clean, but it is completely stock. I mean, look at it, it even has a regular air box in it. Have you ever seen an S197 without a cold air intake in it yet? So I was pretty excited to find out that this was a one owner car. It was completely untouched and ready for any mod that I wanna put in it. Let's take it for a quick spin and I'll tell you more about it. Now, originally I was actually looking for a Nissan 350Z so I could kind of keep my channel in the Nissan family. Uh, after looking around for a while, there's really just complete garbage out there, at least in my market for that car. Every one that I was finding was either just completely and utterly abused or modified beyond belief. And honestly, I don't want someone else's mess. This is actually not my first Mustang. I had a Mustang a long time ago. I think it was about a 95, but it was a GT and it was a manual. And man, did I absolutely love driving that thing. So here I am again, decided to pick up another one and uh, couldn't be happier about it. It's got just a hair over 100,000 miles on it and uh, honestly, it drives pretty good. Now again, what I loved about this one is that it's been completely untouched. It is bone stock, which means I get to do everything that I want to it without having to reverse someone else's mods. Speaking of mods, I'm gonna keep this naturally aspirated, so that means basically no super or turbo chargers, and I just kinda of wanna see how much power I can get out of it uh, without doing any of that boosting. I didn't spend a whole lot on this car, so I don't really wanna go get a four, five, six thousand dollar boost kit for it when uh, I barely paid more than that to buy it. I do, however, have an absolute laundry list of things I do wanna to do to it, and I wanna share all of that with you guys. That's gonna include everything from, of course, the upgrade videos that I wanna do, but also all the general maintenance that this car very desperately needs. Oh, also a shout out to Honest Autos. They're not a sponsor. However, they treated me really well and I would definitely do business with them again. So if you're in the Central Florida area, check them out. So that's about it for this video. I am super pumped about it. I hope you guys join me on this journey. If you liked this video, please hit like. If you want more content like this, definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.